Okay, so, welcome back. So, this may seem a little, like, a little weird of a cut, but, like, I, I was literally gonna hit the record button and I forgot, but I, I, I guess what I did catch, I caught this, the pale skate, so. Now, now it's down to getting the ghost shark and then any two aberrated fish. Now, if we remember, if you remember, I, I started this back at, like, when I first started the series. I started the Eternal Flame quest, but I didn't actually, uh, finish it, per se. Oh! This is what I was looking for! Oh my god! Oh. Yo, let's go. That's what I was looking for. I'm not gonna waste money on patching a seal of that's pointless. We are, however, putting these in here. Yo, wait, what? Yo, they just gave us free stuff. And then the last one is two aberrated fish. So... Guess we gotta find some uh, aberrated fishing spots. Might be easier if I like, you know, drive out of the devil's spine. Oh, I see a spot. There we go. Whoops. Okay. We dock. Mm. I don't need the research part, I need my ship repaired. Um, but, 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 hey, guess what? Look at this. Finally have the resources to, to get that. Another aberrated fish. That's what I need. The aberrated fish thing is just. Nope, stop undocking. I gotta stop pressing undock. Gotta rest till night again because it's the easiest way to get an aberrated fish.
Oh, oops. Oh, I may have waited too long. Oops. I waited too long. That's a mistake. I completely forgot it doesn't stop at night time. Uh, okay. And now I have to find a fishing spot that is... Aberrated fishing pot is spot isn't gonna just fucking pop up though. But probably I'm gonna have to circle the island real quick. I would love to know where- Oh! Yes! Oh, I'm sad. The other fish rotted away. Oh my god, that's luck. That's some fucking luck. Ooh. Rest. Wake up. Let's go get this last flame. Okay, so we have the flames now. So that's gonna be an interesting thing. We have all of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Statues. Middle. Doors to light. Yo, let's go. Another right hand statue. 
roars to life. Rations are complete. The fanatic awaits. What is it? The flames are lit. The chill of the deep touches us now. It comes. We follow him up the steps. The top is the altar. Stacked high upon the altar are layers of dark, damp wood. He draws the antique pocket watch from his robe. It sways hypnotically in the breeze. It is almost yours. May it mark the start of your journey and the end. Still holding the pocket watch in one hand, he clambers atop the pyre and raises his scroll. He begins to chant. He ignores you. The wind picks up, swirling sea spray around the altar. A cold blue flame rises from the sodden wood at his feet. I say nothing. The freezing blaze climbs his legs. His chanting continues, no pain detectable in his voice. He lifts his arms skyward. Seconds later, the inferno engulf engulfs him. Rages for a moment, then abruptly dies. A cold mist pools around the floor of the temple briefly before the wind sweeps it into the sea. No trace of the fanatic remains. The pyre is cold and damp. The antique pocket watch has been obtained. Oh well, shit. We got the pocket watch. That wouldn't that be all five items? We're getting out of this spot. I don't like double spine. Oh, when I come back to like hundred percent of the game, it's gonna be like bah. Oh, she has a house on there now? Yo. Two Blackstone Isle. Climb the broken steps, deliver the relic. He approaches, drawing closer with an incessant ticking. You have the pocket watch. Take out the watch, its once frozen hands are now inexplicably twitching in a rhythmic struggle, trying but failing to move forwards. Though it has been some decades since I last laid eyes upon this, the sound of its mechanisms has grown no less unpleasant. With that, our collection is complete. I must admit, I am surprised. I did not think you had the determination for such a job. Now, with these five relics in our possession, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. One final voyage. This time I will be with you. You are entering... The final phase of the game. Do you wish to continue? Yes! Yes! The relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our intentions. Well, shit. Now, our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Morrow. Oh, the timer is stopped, too. Okay. Interesting.
<laughs> oh shit. Here we go. Ah, this is the place. This is where she was taken from us. Where can we, we can at least bring her back. Only here, and only because of what we achieved. He opens the book and begins to read aloud. To release a lost one, frozen in time. He throws the pocket watch overboard. Tethered by chains in the deep. He throws the necklace overboard. Bind them to this world once more. He throws the ring overboard. Open the door to the starry heavens. He slots the key into the lock of the music box. And lay the weary world to rest. He throws the music box overboard, its key left unturned. Huh. Um. I'm sorry, what? Whoa! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, yo, what the fuck? Yo! Was that it? Is that it? Oh my god, that's it. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna I'm let the credits roll. The, honestly, fantastic game. I gotta say. You took a fishing game and you made it unique. And, you know, I like, I like, you know, if there's fishing in a game, I, I gotta fish. You, you, I can't not fish. But when you get a game, like, based off of fishing, like, this, or let's say Dave the Diver, it's always special. And this game, mwah, really good. I also enjoy Dave the Diver. I, 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 I might do a playthrough on that at some point. I don't know. Maybe. But, I'm glad to wrap this up. This was honestly a fantastic experience. It was. And, honestly, really fun. I, like, the world, the world is interesting. It's not so cookie cutter. Like, there's different people leading different lives, doing totally different things. The fishmonger, the, the fishmonger, for example, on Greater Morrow, that man, that man had his own fucking, like, little fucking side story going on and shit. That shit was wild. Hoping that, that, uh, stranded, uh, airplane fighter pilot get revenge on those fucking weird fucking swamp creatures, that was banging too. Like, bruh. Give me more islands like that. Devil's Spine. Cool. Deadly. Does its purpose. I don't care for it. But it's a good island. They had to... Did, I, I'm not... I, I wouldn't... The, the island would have had to be there anyway. It has its own unique thing, and it's based off of the fucking flames. You gotta... That island, like, it's its own fucking thing compared to the other parts of the game. Those flames is like a self-contained thing. I didn't realize it was, it was gonna just, like... I didn't realize I was gonna bring out the Eldritch Horror. But I guess they were kind of hinting towards that, giving, getting me to gather these relics. So... You know. I don't know. I don't know. It was a good, great game. I, I I appreciate 
when they do something with fishing. And it's like a fishing game that's not just a fishing game. Like, Lovecraft fishing, Dave the Diver is fucking fishing while running a sushi business. It's like, wow, okay. We got some side shit. It's, it's not just about the fishing. It's about the journey. And these these games, these fishing games, they have the journey. So, how long are these credits? Can I, like, speed them up a bit? No? Well, I can't, I can't sit through these anymore. I, I'm sorry, I can't. That I, I can't I I don't have the patience to sit through credits. But thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I hope you enjoyed the Dredge Let's Play, and stay tuned for more. Later's.